Hello, welcome back. Another video, <laughs> another jazz video, which is of course cool. I, I think, I think, oh my God, imagine, what a week. Duke Ellington, John Coltrane, John Coltrane, Giant Steps, new tone poets, and today two new classic series. What a week, great. Cool. <laughs> As you probably know, I like I like when they keep or when they when they throw them at us. I really do like it. Gets you into the flow of things in a way. But for those of you who are not so much into jazz, will change. I have two box sets from Vinyl Me Please. I haven't done a video yet. Quincy Jones box set. And the Philadelphia box set, so this will be out soon. And of course, uh, uh, I wait for the Frank Zappa live concert albums, two, two albums, also great, great stuff. So it, it's not only jazz focus. So, <laughs> but today, the new Blue Note, oh, how can I put the, the two new Tone Poet classic series? releases I'd, I'd love to talk about and we talk about very early stuff and and so in a way classic releases in the truest sense of the word in a way we start let's start with the with the Milt Jackson we have Milt Jackson and the Thelonious Monk Quintet a Mono release from 1955. Cool, very old one. Um, and and for this video, I, I I like to change it a little bit because I just talk to you about the sp specifics of of the two releases, and then I talk about the co quality and 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 talk about both of them in 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 one round, not. One record, one record. Um, as I said, this one, a very, very early one, 1955. We have, and now we have to, there are three groups of people. And I think that, that these sessions also came out on 10 inches and a bit complicated. So we have a mixture. We have Milt Jackson on vibes, John Lewis on piano, Percy Heath on bass, Kenny Clark on drums, and Lou Donaldson on alto sax. Then on other songs, we have again Milt Jackson on the vibes, Sa Sahib Sihab or Shihab on alto sax, Thelonious Monk on the piano, Al McKibben on bass, and Art Blakey on drums. Then we have Mill Jackson on vibes, Thelonious Monk on piano, John Simmons on bass, Shadow Wilson on drums. So quite different configurations. And a classic album, beautiful one. For both records we have the same uh, 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 specifics, mastered by the genius himself, Mr. Kevin Gray, pressed over here in Germany at Optimal. And as I said, a true classic jazz album. The second one, also an early one, although a tiny bit later. Time Waits, not Tom Waits. <laughs> Time Waits, the amazing Bud Powell. The original recording or the original date when the album came out was 1958. But we have a stereo release on this one. You know, that this also makes me thinking, isn't it possible or it would be cool in my, in my opinion, whenever possible that they give us, instead of two different releases at, on one batch, maybe they can give us a mono and a stereo version, but maybe on the other hand it's too much to ask. In my case I would find it quite interesting to compare those, as in the last time or the last couple of months I really got fond of this mono version. Of course, the Electric Recording Company did their work on that through their amazing releases. But the mono 
ones are quite special and, and to compare those is, is, is really, really interesting. Maybe someday they'll do it. And because some of you asked that in the, in the comments, um, where are my beautiful vinyl storage solution sleeves? I decided that when I do the video, I, I only put them in, in, in the sleeves after the video so they, you get a more more uh, uh, direct approach to the to the to the to the uh, uh, jacket maybe that helps because they are all so shiny when they are in the sleeves and so i, I show you the original uh, um, album without a sleeve in the videos whenever possible and whenever it makes sense so that's for that part and ah oh, before i forget that one once more on the last tone poet video i ask you asked you how many of those tone poets do you have? Are you completionists? Do you buy them separately? How many do you have and how how is the development of, 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 of your collection in that area? And you gave me so many interesting comments. Thank you so much for it. That was so interesting to see um, how, your, how your collecting behavior is. And maybe uh, I would love to, not maybe I would love to, I would love to if you, if you tell me if it's similar here with the classic release, how many of those gorgeous releases do you have? Are you also a completionist or title by title? Very interesting. Please tell me in the comments below. Really love it. And I'll also put out down the links um, if you want to get one. Feel free to use them and support the channel. That uh, would be great. Okay, now back, <laughs> back on track. All that talking about uh, different stuff. So. This one is a stereo release. And now let's talk about the quality, the quality of, of these releases. Most important and best thing first, the pressings are, in my case, and I haven't read much otherwise, of course you always get someone who is un, has bad luck, has non-fills or a warped cover or, or a warped disc. But in my case, once more, I can tell you that my vinyls arrived in a perfect condition, no non-fills, flat, silent, beautiful vinyl. The Mill Jackson, the mono, if you consider how old this is, it, it's, it's, it's once more stunningly beautiful. If you, and then comp when you see the price, <laughs> I paid under 20 euros, it's unbelievable the quality they, they give us with that seal with this series is cool cool the amazing but powell stereo and when i saw oh, it's a stereo i was afraid that we have this ping pong stereo but it's very well centered the vinyl quality the sound quality is like the mill jackson perfect beautiful no complaints here, none at all. Two fantastic albums. And as I said, I was a bit afraid when I saw that the, the uh, uh, amazing but Powell Time Wales album is stereo and a very, very early stereo, of course, 1958. But they did a great job. It's, it's very well centered, beautiful sounding, although I prefer it in the original mono version. And the Mill Jackson, I, I, but of course, compare two albums, hey, come on. But, but you know what I, I like to tell, what I want to like, to, what I, uh, I like to talk about. When it comes to this very early releases, I'm more fond of the mono versions. And I don't think that I told you who is with Bud Powell on the Time Waits album. Let me do that now. We have Bud, Bud Powell on the piano, Sam Jones on bass, and Philly Joe Jones on the drums. Beautiful. Highly recommended. The whole series is stunning. And, and once more, and I won't get tired saying it, we can be so happy and proud and, and, and lucky that we have the opportunity to get these releases so easy. And, and don't have to dig in thrift stores or, or pay extremely high prices from flippers. We just can order them, have them in a fantastic quality. It's such a great development and it will go on, I'm quite sure, and it will get more. So, okay, 
that's for it today with the classic series. Thank you for your time. See you on the next one, I hope. Bye.